there and welcome to Music with Mrs. Harloff. Today we are going to talk about dynamics. But first, let's head over to the piano and sing our hello song. Hello, 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 it's music time. Say your name real soft, Mrs. Harloff. Shout your name real loud, Mrs. Harloff! Say your name real soft. It's music time. Wiggle real fast. Wiggle real fast. Wiggle real fast. It's music time. Balance on one leg. Balance on one leg. Can you hold it? Balance on one leg. It's music time. Give yourself a hug. Give yourself a hug. Give yourself a hug. It's music Dynamics. It looks like kind of a big scary word, but it's really just a fancy word in music that means this and this. What do you think those pictures mean? Loud and soft or quiet. So in music, when we say dynamics, we're talking about how loud or how soft we sing or play or how loud or soft the music is. We will be getting out instruments and we will be making loud and soft sounds. But before we do that, I want to talk to you about a few things. First of all, I want you to think about dynamics in real life. When do we listen to music loud and when do we listen to music soft? And let me give you an example. Sometimes when I try to go to sleep at night, I like to play music to help me relax and fall asleep. When I do that, do you think I play music that's loud when I'm trying to go to sleep? Or do you think I play music that's soft? Yes, I play soft music when I'm trying to go to sleep because the soft, quiet music helps calm and relax me. What if I was at a party with some of my friends and there were lots of people there and it was kind of loud and crazy and we decided we wanted to put on some music and dance together. Do you think at a party we would play loud music or soft music? Of course, if you've ever been to a party, they're pretty loud. So if I wanted to hear some music and dance to it, I would probably need to play that music nice and loud, which would be fun and exciting and would be great to dance to. So we use dynamics in music in real life too, not just in our music class. Now, when musicians play music, how do they know if they're supposed to play loud or soft? Well, there's special symbols in music that help musicians know what the dynamic is, if the dynamic is loud or soft. And I'm going to show you those symbols right now. You guys know what letter that is? Yeah, it's like a fancy F. And if a musician sees this fancy F in their music, they are supposed to play or sing loud. Now, why is there a letter F for the word loud? Do you know what loud starts with? loud. It starts with an L. So why in music do we have an F for loud? Well, I'll tell you. In music, our words come from a different country. They come from Italy. And in Italy, they don't speak English, they speak Italian. And we use Italian words in music. So in Italian, if you wanted to say the word loud, you would say forte. Can you say that word? Forte. Do you hear the f at the beginning of forte? That is where the F comes from. So if you're a musician and you see this F in your music, you know you're supposed to play forte, which is loud. Now let's check out this letter. You know what letter that is? It's a fancy P. Now in music, if you saw this P in your music, it would mean that you are supposed to play soft or quiet soft and quiet. Neither one of them start with a P. But in Italian, the way you say soft or quiet is piano. Sounds like the instrument piano, doesn't it? Piano. So in Italian, piano means soft or quiet. And so we use the letter P in music to show that you're supposed to play soft or quiet. Now, 
In music, things aren't always loud or soft. Sometimes they're right in the middle. And we actually have some symbols that help us know that we're supposed to play in the middle too. Now, if you look at this, you can see the P for piano and the F for forte, but there is a letter in front of it. Do you see that letter? It's like a fancy letter M. And that M in Italian stands for the word mezzo. Can you say mezzo? Mezzo. Mezzo starts with an M. And in Italian, mezzo means in the middle, or I like to say medium, right? Not too loud, not too soft, but medium, kind of in the middle. This MP is mezzo piano, and it means medium soft, and mezzo forte means medium loud. So are you ready? We're gonna get some instruments and we're going to try playing loud forte and soft piano, and we're also going to try mezzo in the middle. So I need you to go get something to play. Maybe you have an instrument at your house that you can use, or maybe you can find something that you can make noise with. Like if mom or dad lets you grab a pot or a pan from the kitchen and maybe a wooden spoon that you can hit that with, or you can grab two sticks to hit them together. And if you don't have anything, you can really just use your hands or tap your hands on your lap. That'll work well too. So take a second and go grab something to play. While you're getting your instrument, I wanted to show you this. This is a piece of piano music. And in the piano music, do you see what's right there? It's the letter P. So can you think when I go to play this piano music, what dynamic I'm going to use? Am I going to play loud or soft? Piano, soft. Here's another piece of piano music. Do you see that right there? That's the letter F. Do you remember what that means? It means we're going to play with a dynamic loud or forte. So I just wanted to show you in real music, these letters are there. I'm not making that up. All right, you got an instrument? I got myself a nice little drum right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and play a steady beat. Remember, steady beat is that steady pulse or heartbeat that we hear in music sometimes. So I'm just gonna play a steady beat, but I'm going to point to our dynamics and when I point to a dynamic, we're gonna change our dynamic and we're gonna either play loud or soft or right in the middle, okay? Now, I'm gonna play my drum mezzo to start, just regular right in the middle. And I'm gonna play that steady beat. I want you to take your instrument and I want you to play nice and mezzo with me. I'm hitting it regular, not too hard, not too soft. That steady beat going. Ready? Let's change it. So now that we're playing piano with our steady beats, I had to hit the drum more lightly. So if you're clapping your hands, you've got to clap more lightly, right? Softer. Can we go back to mezzo? Okay, are you guys ready? We're going to go to forte. Do you know what that means? Play it loud. Ready? And stop. So those are dynamics. It's how loud or how soft we sing or play instruments or in music, how loud or soft something is. Now, before I go, I have one last thing to teach you and it's a game. Okay, I call this game Find Mickey because in my classroom, we use my favorite character, Mickey, to play this game. Now this game is a fun game, but we use dynamics to play it. So not only are we having fun, but we get to practice dynamics while we play it. So I'm gonna tell you how it's played, and then my daughter is going to help me play Find Mickey at home. So you guys can see how it actually works. Right now I'm at school all by myself, so I don't have anyone to play with me. So I will show you how to play it when I'm done telling. It's very, very simple. So first thing is the person who's gonna try to find Mickey has to leave the room. So if you're gonna hide Mickey in your kitchen, 
whoever's going to try to find Mickey has to leave the kitchen because when that person leaves, you're going to hide Mickey somewhere in that room. Okay. Once you've hidden Mickey, you tell the person to come in and you say, find Mickey. Now, by the way, if you don't have a Mickey Mouse to hide, you can use literally anything. You can use your shoe if you want. You can say, find the potato or find Buzz Lightyear or find this troll doll. Anything you want to hide, you can hide it and have someone find it. Okay, so I'm just using Mickey because that's what I have. So once Mickey is hidden, I have the person come back in. I say, find Mickey. And they start walking around the room looking for Mickey. What I do then is I clap. Just clap. And when they start getting closer to Mickey, I start clapping louder. And if they walk away from Mickey, I clap softer. And if they get close to Mickey, I clap louder. And if they get really close to Mickey, I clap really loud. And then hopefully that helps them find Mickey. So they listen to my hand clapping. If it's loud clapping, that means they're close. And if it's soft clapping, they're far away. So they've got to look somewhere else. So that's how you play Find Mickey. You want to check it out in action? Okay, here we are playing Find so here we are in my daughter's room. This is my daughter, Shaylin. She's gonna help me demonstrate the game. We are not gonna play Find Mickey here. We're gonna play Find the Dolphin because that's the stuffed animal Shaylin has in her room. So to start the game, I'm gonna tell Shaylin to leave. So she's gonna walk away and while she's gone, I'm gonna hide the dolphin. Okay, Shaylin, come find the dolphin. Now when she gets closer to the dolphin, I'm gonna clap louder. When she's far away from the dolphin, I'm gonna clap quiet. She found it. Okay, let's play that one more time. Shailen, leave the room. I'm gonna hide the dolphin. Oh. Okay, Shailen, come in and find the dolphin. Good at this game. Well, I don't know. <laughs> and that's how you play Find Mickey or Find the Dolphin.